What's up you guys, American, welcome back to my channel. No, you grow up. So it seems like it was not that long ago that I was just making a video about the first delay for this wave. I feel like I'm one of the few people that actually checks these statuses regularly, so I doubt you're gonna be surprised by this at all after looking at the thumbnail and the title. But when I got on to check the statuses this morning, Ultimates Wave 7 of TMNT got pushed back again. So it is currently not set to leave the factory until December, and it's not supposed to show up till March. Last year in March, they were already showing prototypes of these figures. So according to their own estimate now, these figures are going to be in production for over two years. Not only that, but it looks like Wave 9 got pushed back as well, and that's not supposed to hit till December. Wave 8 is scheduled for October, and right off the top of my head, I can't remember if that's been the regular time or not. But Wave 10 is also supposed to come out in December, and I'm going to call bullshit on that one right now. There is no chance we are getting Wave 10 inside of 2023. At best, I think you'll see these guys in December 2024. Super 7 has been having a lot of issues with production, and clearly they're in over their heads. First four waves of TMNT, they were probably within a month or two of their release dates every time. And I could live with that, I didn't have a problem with that, and especially back then, I could see them having issues getting things out, so a month or two late during the pandemic wasn't even that bad. But now they're getting to the point where they're pushing back waves entire years. So I don't know how far things need to slip before somebody over there realizes that they're doing way too much and they need to ditch a bunch of this niche bullshit and stick to the brands that actually made Ultimate successful. With Super 7, it's kind of just becoming a bummer. This was once my favorite Turtles line. The line was really easy to get, you didn't have to worry about it, and they still are some of my favorite figures. But the line just isn't fun to collect at all anymore, and that's basically on Super 7 at this point. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I think there's a realistic chance that we don't even get a wave of figures this year. I can see the other stuff getting pushed back too, because even though in my other video I said I think Wave 7 is getting pushed back because we're going to see a ton of retooling. That could still be the case with these other waves as well. Again, I'm still going to be excited when the day comes when these figures actually come out, but we're literally right in the middle of a pinnacle year for TMNT. The NECA line is doing the best it's ever done. We're getting more Playmate stuff than we've gotten probably since the 90s. There's a movie coming out. There's a cereal on the shelf for God's sake. And where is Super 7 during all of this? They're showing off the retooling of the party wagon, and they think that's going to get us excited. And that's a whole other can of worms that I think I'm going to make a video on here after this. Because at this point, how much money have they wasted on tooling for that thing? Tooling is one of the most expensive parts of toy manufacturing, and if they're just doing retool after retool, I can understand why they have to sell these figures for $55 a pop. But again, that's a conversation for another day. We'll talk about that later. I'm going to be excited when these figures actually come out, but I just wish I had more to be excited about with Super 7. I really like those Glow in the Dark Turtles. I'm excited to get Glow in the Dark Slash. But honestly, those are just fillers in between waves, and that's why they do those figures. They already have the molds made. Tooling's already done. All they got to do is repump them with plastic and get those figures out, and it's a cheap, easy win for them. I am not somebody that wishes for Super 7 to fail. I want them to succeed. I want them to go back to what they were doing with their first few waves. Because to me, at one time, this line really was the chosen one. I thought it was going to be the turtle line for me. But at this point, NECA is absolutely the king, and I don't think there's anybody that's going to knock them off. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you to all my longtime subscribers for sticking around, sticking with this channel as it's grown and changed. I know my content's not all sunshine and rainbows like it used to be, but I'm never just hating on something to hate on something. If I'm venting my frustrations, it's because I want to see whatever I'm talking about be better, do better, whatever. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I've had a lot of you guys lately. Welcome to the channel. I hope I can keep you around. Feel free to comment, chime in with your two cents. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. So take it easy, be safe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.